in this particular video lecture i am going to discuss with you people the mcqs that is multiple choice questions of various topics of our geomatics engineering so my dear students our first chapters that is fundamentals of survey mcqs are our first question is the smallest scale adopted for the topographical survey is my dear students i have discussed with you people in our during the discussion of our questions or our practical or our subject our main value was our main value was for the topographical survey the smallest scale was 1 is to 2 lakh and 50000 so my dear students in this particular question our correct option is 1 in 2 lakh and 50000 so our second question is we have to find out in this second question about the largest scale so my dear students as in our option number a as in our option number a 1 cm is equal to 50 meter so we can say that our representative fraction is equal to 1 divided by 50 meter or you can say 1 divided by 50 meter and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so option number a gives me the scale or representative fraction of 1 in 5000 option number b gives me the representative fraction of the representative fraction of 1 cm is equal to 50 km 50 and 1 km is equal to 1000 m and 1 m is equal to 100 cm so our scale number c is 1 is 42000 and d is 1 in 3 lakh so our the largest scale which is having the least value of the fraction is 1 in 5000 so our correct option is 1 in 1 cm is equal to 50 meter a option is the correct option so my dear students our third question is representative fraction 1 in 2500 means that a scale 1 cm equals to so now let's analyze the scale that is 1 in 25000 so here representative fraction rf rf is equal to 1 in 2500 1 in 2500 which gives me if i equate both these values 1 is equal to 2500 so that if this is in meter or this is in centimeter because examiner asked us about the centimeter so this will be also be in the centimeter because we know that our representative fraction is a is a basically unitless parameter so 2500 cm equals to 25 meter because 1 meter equals to 100 cm so our correct option will be 1 cm is equal to 25 meter that is c option is the correct option c option is the correct option our question number 4 is mean sea level at any place is the average datum of hourly tide heights observed over a period of nearly 19 years my dear students as i discussed with you people in the leveling chapter mean sea level was taken for the last 19 years data but in this particular question 19 years is not given in the option that's why the appropriate option is or most appropriate option is the 20 years data that is the correct option for this particular question our question number 5 is which one of the following is a conventional sign of north line surveying basically we discussed in our compass survey that is likewise this likewise this we had discussed about the various latitudes departures north and south this is our north this is our south this is our west and this is our east so north line surveying is denoted by a arrow in the front of the north line that's why option number d is the correct option here question number 6 is 
a survey is conducted with a view to prepare a map of to prepare a map of an area to a scale of 1 in 1000 so our here scale is given as 1 in 1000 and the scale with the least count and the scale with the least count of 0 0.1 mm is used so here least count is given as least count is given as 0 0.1 mm so my dear students what would be the accuracy in the length measurement in the field because the field dimension is 1000 corresponding to one dimension of the you can say map or you can say plan so accuracy value will be so in this particular case our accuracy will be because examiner has asked us about the accuracy in the field so corresponding dimension of the field is 1000 multiplied by 0 0.1 mm that is the least limit of accuracy and which gives me basically 100 mm which gives me basically 100 mm as we know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so this is equal to 0 0.1 meter this is equal to the 0 0.1 meter so our option number c is the correct option please be careful so question number seven geographical map i had discussed with you people one in one lakh or oh sorry one crore 60 lakhs and topographical maps in the case of the topographical maps our this is location map this is the forest map so here you can say topographical maps matches with option number one likewise one centimeter is equal to 2.5 kilometer or you can say 2 lakh 50 thousand as we discussed in our question number one so location map basically one centimeter equals to five centimeter to 25 meter five meter to 25 meter and option number d correctly matched with option number two that is one centimeter is equal to 0 0.25 kilometer so let's choose the option a matches with three a matches with three so this may be the option this may be the option and here you can say b matches with one b matches one this will be the option this will be the option c matches with four so our correct option is this one so our correct option is this one a matches with three b matches with one c matches with four and d matches with two so our this correct option is this one our question number eight is my dear students i had discussed with you people for the alignment of a railway track or a highway initially we have to perform initially we have to perform the traffic survey for the origin and destination studies so our correct option will be either c or d because initially we have to perform the traffic survey after that we have to perform after that we have to perform the location survey that is sorry after that we have to perform the reconnaissance survey. my mistake is there after that we have to perform the reconnaissance survey so correct order is first step is three then one and after that we have to perform the preliminary survey that is option number two so after that we have to perform the preliminary survey two option and after that lastly we have to perform the location survey or finalized location is done that is it three one two four is the correct option and this correct option is the d option is there for the alignment of a track is finalized or you can say for the uh, highway locations for the highway locations in hilly area special this sequence of different surveys is followed so my dear students now i am going to start the mcqs of linear measurements and theory of errors
so our first question is the error due to bad ranging bad ranging means misalignment correction is always positive so error will always be negative so error will always be negative and you can say collective nature is there and you can say collective nature is there so our b option is the correct option because error is always negative and this error was having the amount of as we discussed in our theory lectures that is h square divided by 2l h square divided by 2l was the our correct option for the slope correction and you can say the misalignment or bad ranging so our question number 2 is metallic tape is always made of the cloth and wires metallic tape is always made of the cloth and wires that cloth may be of the linen each and everything question number 3 is number of links in a 3 meter chain i have discussed with you people for a 20 meter chain 100 links are there 100 links are there and uh, for a 30 meter chain for a 30 meter chain 150 links are there 150 links are there so our correct option is the b option question number 4 is very very important question a 30 meter tape can be taped with a precision of 0.01 meter standard error in the measurement of 1.08 km with the same precision so my dear students in the question 30 meter is measured with the precision of 0.01 meter so we can say that 1.08 km means 1080 meter so for the measurement of 1080 meters what would be the accuracy that will be equal to 0.01 whole divided by 30 multiplied by 1080 that gives me the value of that gives me the value of plus minus 0.36 meter so our correct option is b option is the correct option b option is the correct option our question number 5 is a 30 meter steel tape was standardized at 20 degree centigrade so my dear students in this particular question t not is given as 20 degree centigrade and the measurement of the distances were taken at 15 degree centigrade so my dear students in this particular question tm is given as 15 degree centigrade as we know that correction due to temperature correction due to temperature is equal to tm minus t not tm tm minus t not into l into alpha into l into l into alpha so here alpha is given as this value the error due to temperature will be and l is given as this value this is l this is alpha now put all the values l alpha tm and t not as here the difference is negative that is that's why always the error will be negative because 15 minus 20 gives me the minus value so option b and c cannot be the correct option because these are the positive values so option a and d may be the correct option so after calculation i found the value as 0.000 560 so this is the a option is the correct value that is a negative value our question number 6 is during chaining along a straight line leader of the party has four arrows in his hand my dear students i had discussed with you people in the previous lecture leader always having unused arrows leader is having unused arrows in his hand 
अनयूज एरोज इन हिज हैंड एंड फॉलोवर हैज बेसिकली फॉलोवर हैज सिक्स एरोज दैट इज यूज एरोज फॉलोवर हैज द यूज एरोज सो माई डे स्टूडेंट्स हेयर अनयूज एरोज आर फोर एंड यूज एरोज आर बेसिकली सिक्स सो डिस्टेंस ऑफ द फॉलोवर फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट मीन्स फॉलोवर जस्ट ओनली मूव बाय द सिक्स एरोज फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड फॉलोवर हैज फोर एरोज इट मीन्स फॉलोवर हैज यूज सिक्स एरोज एंड नाउ फोर एरोज आर ऑल्सो बींग यूज इन द फ्यूचर सो बोथ लीडर एंड फॉलोवर आर स्टैंडिंग एट द सेम पॉइंट बोथ लीडर एंड द फॉलोवर आर स्टैंडिंग एट द सेम पॉइंट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस लेट्स एक्सपोज दैट this is our starting point this is our starting point this is the position of the leader and follower because they are having four and six arrows total 10 arrows are there so from the follower what is the distance between the starting point and the follower because follower has moved by the six arrows and as we know that one arrow is inserted after every chain length so this complete distance is basically Six chains. This complete distance is basically six chains because each and every arrow is inserted after every chain length. So our B option is the correct option. That is six chains. So now let's move towards next question. Plan of an area drawn with an original scale of one centimeter is equal to hundred meter. Sorry, ten meter. So our original R F is equal to Our original R F is equal to so here original R F representative fraction will be equal to one divided by one thousand. One divided by one thousand has shrunk such that a line originally fifteen centimeter long on a plan now measures fourteen point five centimeter. So here, shrinkage factor, shrinkage factor is equal to the shrunk length divided by original length, and our shrunk length is fourteen point five centimeter divided by original length is. 15 cm cm to cm cancelled out so our shrinkage factor is whatever the value may be so our shrunk scale or you can say shrunk rf shrunk rf will be equal to original rf whole divided by shrinkage factor and it is having the value of the 14.5 whole divided by 15 total calculation after calculation i found the value as 1034 1 one divided by 1034 which gives me basically if 1 is equal to 1034 if this is centimeter this is also be the centimeter if i will convert this value into meter so i found the value as 10.34 meters so this is option c is the correct option our next question is a 30 meter long steel tape standardized with the pull of 100 newton so my dear students here the pull correction will be applied that is pm minus p not divided by l divided by ae that is our pull correction that is equals to correction due to pull so my dear students here p o is given as 100 newton and p m is given as p m is given as 150 newton so here this is 150 minus 100 into length length is 30 meter length is 30 meter whole divided by and this is length is 30 meter oh sorry my mistake length is totally Uh, one five double zero meters. So 
here length is not the 30 meter this is basically 1500 meter this is basically 1500 meter whole divided by ae so my dear students our answer is this difference is 50 150 minus 100 is 50 into 1500 so our option a is the correct option that is 50 into 1500 divided by a is the correction due to the pull this is the value of the final value okay so our ninth question is during the measurement of a line by chain or tape in the slopes if length of the line is l height difference is h then correction for the measured more than my dear students i have derived with you people correction due to slope and if i found the value final value as minus h square divided by 2l plus h to the power 4 divided by 8l cube by neglecting the higher order terms and this value was also neglected if the slope is flatter than the 1 in 25 so this is assumed to be neglected neglected for slopes flatter than flatter than 1 in 25 so my dear students this was the more amount so this more amount is the h to the power 4 divided by 8 l cube in this particular video lecture i am going to discuss with you people the mcqs of our geometrics engineering so let's start the mcqs of compass traversing and third light survey so our first question is coordinates of two end points a and b of a traverse line are so my dear students let us suppose that this is our global coordinate system here x coordinate is given as 1000 1000 and also 2000 whereas y coordinate is given only 1000 here point a is having the coordinates of 1000 and 1000 and point b is having the coordinates of the 2000 and 1000 for x and y respectively so my dear students as we know that our bearing is always measured from north direction so this bearing of the line ab will be 90 degree bearing of the line ab is always the 90 degree so our next question is following equipments can be used to lay out the horizontal angle in the field obviously third light all the third light and compass are there so this is the not used for the basically for horizontal angles because chain and metallic tape are used but in the very rare cases because these are the length measuring instruments correct sequence of decreasing order of their accuracies is so my dear students our option number two will be the last option in the in the matter of the accuracy so our b option cannot be the correct because our last option is one and similarly a option cannot be the correct option only c and d can be the correct option our the most accurate instruments most accurate instruments are generally generally the microptic third lights so our first option will be one after that vernier third lights are used means our third option will be the second option and then prismatic compass in the matter of the accuracy and then our chain and metallic tape so one three four two is the correct option that is the d option is there d of c option is also not the correct option so our a b c d is a regular parallelogram plot of a land whose angle b a d is 60 degree so my dear students let us suppose that this is the line a b this is our line a b angle b a d is 60 degree it is given 
if bearing of line ab is let us suppose that this is our north so this bearing can be 30 degree only when this is exactly to the north so let us suppose that this is point d because angle b a d is given so since it is a regular parallelogram that's why all the sides are parallel so this side will be parallel to a b and this side will be parallel to the this side will be parallel to the you can say a d so this is the regular parallelogram so my dear students if bearing of line is a b is 30 then bearing of line c d we have to calculate bearing of line c d c d so my dear students i have make this diagram wrong this is b this is a this is our d point the only then this angle will be the b a d so c d we have to calculate the bearing of c d if this angle is 60 so this corresponding angle will also be the 60 degree be careful this corresponding angle will also be 60 degree first point now we have to calculate this complete value we have to calculate this complete value now our complete value is our complete value is will be 180 degree plus 60 degree because this is our 180 degree value so hence we can say that correct value of the bearing c bearing of the correct bearing of line cd will be 180 plus 60 degree 180 plus so my dear students no sorry my mistake is there if this is 30 this will also be 30 degree not the 60 degree 30 degree so here 30 degree plus 180 degree that is the correct bearing will be the 210 degree 210 degree is the correct option for the bearing that is option number c is there option number c is there so my dear students our next question is for bearing and back bearing of line pq and qr are given as 59, 235, 125, 30, 309, 30. Correct value of interior angle PQR will be. So, my dear students, now let us suppose that this is our north. This is our north. So, here PQ is having the bearing of 59 degree. That is means it lies in the first quadrant this value is 59 degree this point is our p p q this point is q and back bearing is 235 degree okay this value will be the 235 degree this value will be the 235 degree now from q this is option over point our r is there this is our r point QR, QR that is for bearing of QR line this one value is given as this value is basically 125 degree and 30 minutes 125 degree and 30 minutes and here the back bearing is given as 309 degree and 30 minutes this is the diagram so my dear students we have to calculate this angle this value value of this complete angle i have to calculate this value so this complete value will be 235 degree minus 125 degree and 30 minutes so here we can say that our angle pqr will be 235 minus 125 degree and 30 minutes which gives me the value of 109 degree and 30 minutes is the correct value and our option number b is the correct option so please note down this our fifth question is if the bearing of line a b is n 60 degree 30 minutes east means my dear students here examiner has given us the value of the reduced bearing let us suppose that 
this is our north this is our north point and this is our first quadrant that is east point is there this is east here line lies is there and the bearing is 60 degree and 30 minutes from north towards east from north towards east because it is south it is south and it is west so if and that of bc is if this is our point a this is our point b now bc bearing is 122 if i have set up a meridian here bearing of line bc is 122 means that lies in the second quadrant that lies in the second quadrant and this bearing is given as 122 degree measurement of interior angle b means i have to calculate i have to calculate this value this angle b we have to calculate so my dear students if this angle is 60 degree and 30 minutes so this complete angle will also be the 60 degree and 30 minutes 60 degree corresponding angle is 60 degree 30 minutes and this value this value is 180 minus 122 180 minus 122 this is 180 minus 122 degree which gives me the value of which gives me the value of the 58 degree only so my dear students this complete value this complete value will be 60 degree 30 minutes plus 58 degree so you can say our interior angle interior angle b is equal to 58 degree plus 60 degree and 30 minutes that gives me the value of the 118 degree and 30 minutes is our answer okay so my dear students our c option is the correct option now our question number six is a and b are two traverse stations free from the local attraction errors if true bearing of ab is 89 degree declination is one degree west calculate the magnetic bearing of a b sorry b a calculate the magnetic bearing of calculate the magnetic bearing of b a b a okay now let's calculate a and b are two traverse stations free from the local attraction so this is our north from here if bearing of a b is 89 degree that is here likewise that this is 89 degree so if i have placed a meridian at this point also so if this is 89 if this is 89 and here also i have placed a meridian this is point a and this is also point b now we have to calculate the bearing of this value so this is 89 and one degree one degree local attraction is there so we can say that here the magnetic north will be here so magnetic bearing of the line will be 89 plus 1 degree that is 90 degree so here magnetic bearing of AB is 1 degree plus 89 degree because it is free from the local attraction error that is 90 degree so if this complete angle is 90 degree now I have to calculate the value with respect to this magnetic meridian so this complete value will be 270 degree this complete value will be 270 degree because here 1 degree west is the declination 1 degree west is the declination so this value is also 1 degree and this complete value is that is 89 plus 180 that is 269 so 1 degree plus 269 that is 270 degree so here 
magnetic bearing of BA will be equal to 269 plus 1 degree and from here 269 comes that is 189 sorry 180 degree plus 89 degree that is 269 and if anybody asks you about the true bearing of true bearing of AB that will be the, our my dear students that is 89 degree and a true bearing of BA that is my dear students that is 269 degree only because one degree local declination is one degree west so our next question is error in the linear and angular measurements for a line L are C1 and C2 means C1 is given as the linear errors and C2 is given as the angular errors and as we know that linear errors are directly proportional to under root of the length and angular errors and angular errors are inversely proportional to root of the length so now let's choose the correct option that is b option is the correct option that is angular error and linear errors are this is the linear errors linear errors these are the angular errors these are the angular errors now eighth question is diurnal means daily declination that is variation caused variation caused or which one of the following variation of the magnetic declination are correctly matched annual means annual rate this is correctly matched means 2 is correctly matched okay secular means secular means that is 100 to 250 to 350 years that is means third one is not correctly matched diurnal is not correctly matched because that is a daily declination well it is a wrong option two option is the correct option variation in declination period in character irregular cause due to magnetic storms earthquakes likewise this is the correct option so in this particular question you can say that you can say that only option number two and four option number oh my mistake annual rate of change of daily declination is called as the annual declination but here secular declination is given that's why this is also a wrong option so now secular declination that is a variation of declination period that is a, you can see the pendulum like pendulum behavior like so option number three and four are correctly matched only option number two and one are not correctly matched because diurnal is the daily declination diurnal is the daily declination diurnal is nothing that is a daily declination and annual declination is the annual rate of change of the daily declination not the secular declination that's why option number one and two are not correctly matched so in our ninth question in a third light traversing for the calculation of the independent rectangular coordinates from the field some of the computations are indicated below so my dear students now let's calculate these values basically these are the steps of the gales traverse table these are the steps of gales traverse table so examiner has asked us about the correct sequence of the gales traverse table so our first step is calculation of the consecutive coordinates and before that we have to calculate the quadrantal bearing our first step is quadrantal bearing calculation second step is calculation of the latitude and departure that is consecutive coordinates that is consecutive coordinates coordinates or you can say latitude and departure are there step number three step number three is calculation of the closing error calculation of the closing error and fourth step my dear students is to eliminate that closing error or you can say to balance the traverse that is using bodice rule transit rule compass rule graphical method axis method maybe various methods we have discussed so our fourth step is balancing the traverse 
balancing the traverse so my dear students our correct sequence is here quadrantal bearing is generally a a option so option number b c and d are the wrong option these are not the correct option please be careful so option a and b may be the correct option so our first option is the a option then after that we have to calculate the consecutive coordinates so our option number b is correct because here it is the wrong option so consecutive coordinates a d b and c a d b and c is the correct option for the gauge traverse table my dear students our next chapter mcqs are for the leveling and contouring now let's start with leveling and contouring chapter please have a look so our first question of basically my dear students most of the questions of these chapters i have covered in our discussion of during these chapters so we have only very less questions for these chapters for the mcqs consider the following statements beside the contours relief on the topographic maps i have discussed with you people hauchar and point heights are used for the measurement of the relief displacement on the topographic maps and so option number 1 and 2 are correct only that is option number b is there i have discussed with you people during the discussion of the contour survey our second question is contour interval is the on the map sheet denotes the vertical distance between the two consecutive coordinates or you can say the two uh, corresponding lines corresponding contour lines so vertical distance of the contour lines vertical distance of the contour lines between two successive contour inter contour lines let us suppose that this is a contour line of 99 and this is the 90 sorry uh, 100 meter let us suppose that this is 100 meter contour line and this is our 99 meter contour line so horizontal distance is called as the horizontal equivalent and the vertical distance is called as the contour interval contour interval is basically the vertical distance is basically the vertical distance and horizontal equivalent is nothing that is the horizontal distance between two successive contour lines horizontal equivalent this is the horizontal equivalent so the back side reading on a vertically held staff at a point a on the floor along the center line of railway tunnel so my dear students let us suppose that this is our railway tunnel and this is the center line of this railway tunnel this is the center line of this railway tunnel now let us suppose that here instrument is placed here instrument is placed this is the instrument location so on the vertically held staff at a point a the back side reading here 
vertically held stuff is there and this reading is read as 3.465 meter 3.465 meter and roof of tunnel that is foresight oh, my mistake is there this is our wrong diagram because in this particular case here back side is taken at the straight stuff not the vertical held stuff this is the wrong reading please be careful so my dear students here reading is back side reading is given here not that back side reading is taken at this particular stuff this is our point number a this is our point number a is there at point a this reading is taken as 3.465 meter now my dear students foresight on the inverted stuff this is basically the back side this is the back side now here on the roof of this particular tunnel a vertically held stuff is there and that particular reading is taken as 1.155 meter so my dear students our height of the tunnel you can see height of tunnel is equal to back side minus four side back side minus four side and four side is self negative due to inverted stuff so this is 3.465 minus minus of 1.155 meter so after calculation i found the value as 4.4 point, 4 point that is the um, 4.62 option is there this is 4.62 meter is there 4.62 meter is our answer okay now given that for a triangulation survey if d is the distance h is the distance of visible horizon there is no obstruction due to intervening ground then we had we know that all the corrections then height h is given as or you can say correction or you can say height is given as minus 0 0.0673 into d square whereas height is in meters and d is put in kilometers d is put in kilometers and height is in meters so d is in meters and height is in sorry h is in meters and d is in the kilometers 0 0.06735 0 0.06735 that is d option is the correct option d option sorry b b for bombay b option is the correct option now question number five is a dumpy level is set up with an eyepiece vertically over a peg a height of from the peg of top of a center of eyepiece is this one reading on the peg b is 0 0.7 meter level is then set up over the peg b height of or you can say here h a h a is given as 1.54 meter and reading on peg b that is h b is 0 0.70 meter these readings are during the instrument setup only at a when the instrument is set up at b then h b dash and h a dash h b dash is taken as 1.490 meter and reading on a is taken as 2.195 meter now actual difference in elevation or between a and b will be direct formula that is a true difference in elevation that is true difference in elevation will be equal to h a minus h b 
that is 1.54 minus 0 0.7 that is the apparent difference for the reading taken at station A and for the reading taken at station B the apparent difference is 1.49 minus 2.195 we have to take the average of two apparent differences and I found the value after calculation as 0 0.770 meter 0 0.770 meter is our answer so my dear students here our option number C is the correct option question number next is if staff intercept on a staff located at 100 meter from the level for the five divisions deviation of bubble is this if length of one division of the bubble is 2 mm radius of curvature of the bubble tube is here my dear students length of one division of the bubble tube is given as 2 mm capital D is given as 100 meter that is distance between the staff and the instrument that is 100 meter here number of divisions are given as number of divisions are 5 so and deviation deviation that is staff intercept is given as s1 minus s2 is given that is staff intercept is given as only staff intercept is given as 0 0.05 meter 0 0.050 meter as we know that my dear students alpha radius of curvature that is sensitivity of a bubble tube alpha we have to calculate the value of a radius of curvature so s divided by nd s by nd is equal to l by r l by r or sorry my mistake that is s by d is equal to l by r this is value of alpha here s is given d is given number of divisions are given s by nd my mistake that is s by nd is equal to l by r so here this value is nd so here s by nd is equal to l by r we have given the value of s n d and l so from here we can easily calculate the value of the r that is radius of curvature of the bubble tube here we can easily calculate the value of the r that is radius of the curvature of the bubble tube and i found the value of r after putting all the values as after putting all the values i found the value as 20 meter i found the value as 20.00 meter so our option number c is the correct choice questions of plane table survey earthwork tachymetric survey setting out of curves my dear students most of the mcqs most of the questions of the, all these four chapters i have discussed during discussion of our chapters but only some questions are remain that i will discuss in this particular video lecture so our first question is which one of the following instrument is used for is used for plane table survey for the measurement of horizontal and vertical distances directly my dear students i have discussed with you people telescopic led is used for direct measurement of the horizontal and vertical distances in the field question number two is fix of a plane table using three non points is good when i have discussed my dear students during the solution of a three point problem that is hit and trial method hit and trial method we had discussed bessel's graphical method lehman's trial and hit and trial method so lehman's trial and error method was used for the three non points the middle station is nearest not the good option because the good option is when the triangulation station will be the either of the extreme station is nearest means either of the extreme station is nearest or when the triangle of error is inside the great triangle then either of the extreme station should be the nearest otherwise if the triangle of error 
is outside the major triangle then the correct position of the triangulation station will be that which is nearest to any adjacent side of the triangle of error so here adjacent side option is not given that's why the correct option is either of the extreme station is nearest is the correct option here so my dear students in a plane table survey plane table station position was to be fixed with the respect of the three reference points it was found that one of the reference point was not visible due to obstruction means we have to use here three point sorry two point problem it was therefore decided to make use of the other two points only that is the two point problem which of the following is true regarding the determination of the station position work can be done first two point problem is a slower problem two setting of the plane table will be needed but the work will be accurate not no work will not be accurate in this particular case only one setting of the table is needed however work will be less accurate this is also not the correct position because the plane table may be set up over one or two or three points work will be less accurate bilkul sahi hai bilkul uh, this is very right option the work will be less accurate and time consuming work will be less accurate and time consuming in the two point problems in the case of the two point problem in the case of two point problem two point problem is time consuming and less accurate as compared to the three point problem as compared to three point problem so my dear students our next chapter is that is curve setting and tachymetric survey for a simple curve which one of the following gives the correct relationship between r and degree of the curve for 20 meter length my dear students for 30 meter length the correct relation is 1718.9 divided by d and for 20 meter length 1145.9 divided by d is the correct option so here examiner asks you about the 20 meter length that is r is equal to 1145.9 by d our second question is in an external focusing tachymeter the fixed interval between the stadia here is 5 mm means i is given here i value is given here as 5 mm focal length of the objective piece is given as 25 cm distance of the vertical line or axis of the instrument from the optical center means here small d is given small d is given as 15 cm constants of tachymeter are as we know that our k is equal to that is f divided by i so is a unitless parameter basically f is 25 cm or you can say 250 mm whole divided by i is 5 mm so here mm to mm cancelled out 5 that is 5 and that is 50 so c is equal to f plus d f is given as 25 cm and small d is given as 15 cm so that is 40 cm or you can say in meters this value is 0.40 meter so our option number a is correct option so my dear students i have completed your syllabus